kids i hope you all are fine today we are going to start chapter so read and enjoy chapter 9 the curious robot read and enjoy characters in the play nick nock a small and curious new robot fixel a motor specialist robot mobot a senior robot and a human it is the year 2121 earth is inhabited by robots and there are less than a thousand humans on the planet some robots are at a repair workstation by the side of a broad highway fixel is teaching the trade to his apprentice nick nock Fixel You have seen how I put the plates together Nick knock Now do the same for the car over there I want this robot car operational in half an hour Nick knock Just as you say mentor with eyes shifting back to the road I just need to put these two metal plates together Fixel You better be quick. I am sure there will be many more cars for us to repair. Stop gazing at those passing cars. Get on with your work now. You'll get to see plenty of that stuff. Nick knock. Oh, you can't miss this one. A fancy car being escorted by four special blue robots on motorbikes. What is this? The car comes to a halt and the four blue robots stand at each of the four doors of the vehicle. One robot opens the left rear door. Fixel looks at it casually. This is not a robot. It is a human. Nick knock. Wow, a human. I finally get to see one. The human steps out of the car surrounded by the four escort robots. He looks a little bit small in comparison to them. What a strange creature. It looks so such a such a silly thing. Fixel. Don't underestimate humans. They are superior to us robots. They can perform any action they want to. Mobot, the supervising robot, sees the human and joins the conversation between fixel and nick knock mobot even those actions which robots cannot perform fixel quietly yes they can give orders to robots destroy them or construct new ones they can even destroy other human beings in fact they are very fond of doing this mobot they do not even have to follow orders if they don't want to nick knock really what a dangerous thing i can only repair cars mobot if you try to give them orders they'll blow your circuits the human starts walking towards the garage nick knock look how it walks it does not comes to its full height and walks straight like a robot human robots attention The human presses a green button on a handheld device. All the robots quickly stand in a line. Mobot approaches the human to answer routine questions. All the robots are functioning. Mobot. Yes, sir. Human. How many new units have you manufactured? Mobot. 290 units, sir. Human. Any problems of any kind? or accidents in the last lot mobot no sir fixel whispers to nick knock actually human often have accidents their memory banks have very low capacity and their machinery has no real physical force they have no radio communication like we do when they break down they cannot perform routine actions for a number of years hearing all this builds up nick knock curiosity then all of a sudden he addresses the human in a loud voice 
निक नॉक आई हैव सम क्वेश्चन फॉर यू ह्यूमन ह्यूमन अ बिट अनॉइड फॉर नॉट गेटिंग द मैंडेटरी सर वॉट द अदर रॉबर्ट लुक ऑन अनकम्फर्टेबली निक नॉक Every robot is constructed, programmed, and brought into existence for a specific purpose. For what purpose do you exist? Silence follows the only question ever put to a human by a robot. Human. I don't need to answer questions from robots. The human turns away and leaves in his car quickly. Nick now. You see, it is indeed a silly thing. I think you were wrong. They cannot possibly be superior to us robots. I have just proved it. It does not even know why it exists. It is a dangerous species which cannot be controlled. I think planet Earth would be much safer without them. Mobot. Yes, but for what reason would you exist without the humans? Nick Nock, surprised by the question. to repair cars mobot for whom nick nock for the other robots to drive them mobot for what nick nock to transport goods mobot to whom nick nock to the delivery robots uh, slowly and surprised at the answer he arrives at for the humans mobot you see we robot exist because human created us and control us with their orders we exist to support humans that is why they are superior to us this is why we can't perform all the actions that they do now there are less than thousands humans on this planet and their numbers are decreasing still they continue destroying themselves for various reasons that robots can never understand before robots were established there were more humans than there are robots now more than 10 billions of them nick nock but that was much better why did they start replacing themselves with robots mobot that's because they thought robots were superior to humans and they did not need so many humans nick nock so silly the solution would be to take away the robots or at least make them stop doing the work that humans are supposed to do that way the humans will feel the need to increase their numbers and not die out fixel yes actually we know this already you don't because you are a new design nick nock listen I have a plan to make humans smarter. Will you help me? Mobot. Yes. We would love to help you. But first, we have to finish repairing this car. Nick knock. Yuppie! Three cheers for my plan. But what